For more reasons than any of us have got time to hear about here, 2020 has been an utterly awful year for so many people. With the world having virtually ground to a standstill at times, there's not a single person watching this video who hasn't had their lives negatively impacted in some way or another. But as we come to the end of this most tumultuous of years and start looking forward to the brighter days of 2021, it's only natural that film fans look back on the previous 12 months and, inevitably, the talents we've lost. Any death is, in its own personal Personal way a tragedy, but actors touch so many lives with their work that losing any one of them can hit home as heavy as if we knew them ourselves. So let's take a few minutes to reflect on and celebrate the lives of those the industry lost this year. My name is Adam Cleary and this is our tribute to 21 actors who died in 2020. Number 21. Kirk Douglas. A true Hollywood great, Kirk Douglas stands out as one of the biggest stars in the history of cinema. Famed for his roles in the 1950s and 1960s, including of course Spartacus, he received three Academy Award nominations and the Presidential Medal of Freedom. At the grand old age of 103, Kirk passed away on February 5th. Number 20. Dieter Laser. In a career that spanned over 50 years, Dieter Laser is known to most people as the human centipede's Dr. Joza Heiter, starring as the central villain in the first movie before eventually returning for the third. However, his career in his native Germany was the stuff of legend, with a career spanning five decades seeing him voted the nation's greatest actor in 1975. He passed away on February 29th at the age of 78. Number 19. Max von Sydow. One of the greatest actors of his generation and beyond, Max von Sydow will forever be remembered for his roles in The Seventh Seal, The Exorcist, Flash Gordon, Dune, and The Force Awakens. However, his work on television is also something to be celebrated, with his sporadic appearances as the three-eyed raven on Game of Thrones, seeing him nominated for a primetime Emmy. Video game fans might also remember him for his role as Esburn in Skyrim. He passed away on March the 8th at the age of 90. Number 18. Honor Blackman. As Pussy Galore in 1964's Goldfinger, Honor Blackman cemented her spot in James Bond history. Away from 007, the classy actress was a favourite of many due to roles in The Avengers and later Jason and the Argonauts. Despite stepping away from acting full-time, she did occasionally crop up in small parts, notably 2001's Bridget Jones Diary. Honor passed away from natural causes on April 5th at the age of 94. Number 17, Lee Fierro. Her actual film credits number only three, but Lee Fierro made a huge impression as the distraught Mrs. Kittner in Steven Spielberg's Jaws, and then later reprised the role for Jaws the Revenge. Fierro was actually a resident of Martha's Vineyard where Jaws was filmed, and there she spent her years teaching and mentoring over a thousand young actors. She passed away on April 5th due to COVID-19 at the age of 91. Number 16, Brian Dennehy. Brian Dennehy's big break came as the nefarious Sheriff Will in First Blood, and he'd go on to appear in offerings such as Cocoon, Semi-Tough, Ten, and and even lend his vocals to Pixar's Ratatouille. He died aged 81 on April the 15th from a cardiac arrest. Number 15, Sam Lloyd. Despite being immortalized for his role as the dour Ted on Scrubs, Sam Lloyd also appeared on The West Wing, Desperate Housewives, and Malcolm in the Middle. After being diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor in 2019, Sam had lung cancer that spread to his liver, spine, and jaw. He passed away on April the 30th at the age of 56. Number 14, Irfan Khan. Known to Western audiences for his work in Jurassic World, The Amazing Spider-Man and Life of Pi, Irfan Khan is regarded as one of the finest actors in the history of Indian cinema. In a career that spanned over 30 years, he made comfortably over 100 movie appearances, receiving a BAFTA nomination for 2013's The Lunchbox. He passed away on April 29th due to a colon infection at the age of just 53. Number 13, Sir Ian Holm. For those with a taste for genre films, Sir Ian Holm stands out for his stunning work on pictures like The Lord of the Rings trilogy, Alien, The Fifth Element, Time Bandits, and Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. The actor also nabbed himself numerous awards for his performance as Sam in 1981's Chariots of Fire. Having been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease nearly two decades ago, Sir Ian passed away on June the 19th at the age of 88. Number 12. Naya Rivera. Award-winning Glee favourite and step-up star Naya Rivera shockingly passed away in July of this year after she went missing after swimming with her young son. As well as her breakout role on Glee, she'd made several other TV appearances, including a special guest spot on American Dad. At the age of just 33 and after a five-day search and rescue operation, it was announced on July 13th that she passed away. Number 11, Kelly Preston. Known for her roles in the likes of Jerry Maguire, Twins, For Love of the Game, and The Experts, on which she met her husband John 
Travolta, Kelly Preston passed away on July 12th at the age of 57. Despite a glittering career, Preston moved away from the public spotlight and it was revealed she'd been battling breast cancer for over two years. Number 10, John Saxon. A phenomenal character actor, John Saxon will be fondly remembered for his supporting roles in Enter the Dragon, A Nightmare on Elm Street and Black Christmas. As the years moved on, Saxon took smaller roles in films like From Dusk Till Dawn, where he met Quentin Tarantino, who would then subsequently talk him into making a one-off special guest appearance on an episode of CSI he happened to be directing. He passed away on July 25th at the age of 83, with pneumonia and dementia cited as the cause of death. Number 9, Dame Olivia de Havilland. One of the biggest names of Hollywood's famed golden era, complete with Oscar nominations for her roles in Gone with the Wind, Hold Back the Dawn to Each His Own, The Snake Pit and The Heiresses, Dame Olivia de Havilland passed away in her sleep on July 26th. She was a remarkable 104 years of age. Number 8. Chadwick Boseman. The world lost a true shining light on August the 28th when Chadwick Boseman died at just 43 years of age. Unbeknownst to the public or so many within the movie industry, Boseman was diagnosed with colon cancer in 2016. He fought through the pain of this to continue in, amongst several others, his role as the MCU's Black Panther, not wanting to disappoint the films or the characters or millions of fans. It was due to complications of this illness that the hugely talented actor tragically passed away this year, leaving cinema missing both an incredible actor and an incredible man. Number 7, Dame Diana Rigg. To some, she was Emma Peel of the Avengers. To others, she was Countess Di Vincenzo on Her Majesty's Secret Service. And to the rest of us, she was Elena Tyrell on Game of Thrones. Regardless though, she became one of the most captivating screen presences of her generation and appointment to view in all of her recurring TV roles. She passed away at 82 years of age on September the 10th after a six-month battle with cancer. Number six. Michael Lonsdale. British French actor Michael Lonsdale appeared in nearly 200 film and TV projects, but it's his performance as the villainous Hugo Drax opposite Sir Roger Moore's James Bond in Moonraker that many forever remember him for. He died in Paris on September the 21st at the age of 89. Number 5. Conchata Ferrell. Revered for playing Berta in all 12 seasons of Two and a Half Men, not to mention a memorable turn in Adam Sandler's Mr. Deeds, Conchata Ferrell passed away on October the 12th after suffering a cardiac arrest. She was 77 years of age. Number 4, Sir Sean Connery. Six James Bond movies, The Man Who Would Be King, The Hunt for Red October, The Untouchables, Highlander, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and The Rock. That is just a select few of the more noteworthy performances from the legendary Sir Sean Connery. Without question, one of Britain's greatest ever acting talents and a man whose cinematic legacy will likely never be equaled. Sir Sean died in his sleep on October the 31st, he was 90 years old. Number 3, David Prowse. Somehow never a household name, David Prowse got to play one of the most iconic characters in movie history, with him donning the famed outfit of Darth Vader for all three of George Lucas's original Star Wars trilogy. While James Earl Jones famously provided the voice for the role, he and many others have stated time and time again that the overall screen presence owed so much to the physical performance. Having had several years of bad health, the bodybuilder turned actor died on November the 28th, aged 85. Number 2, Hugh Keysburn. With memorable roles in the Mad Max franchise as both Toe Cutter and later Immortan Joe, despite never being prolific in front of the camera, his post-apocalyptic credentials were beyond reproach, and was even cast as Martian Manhunter in George Miller's planned 2009 Justice League movie. Hugh Keysburn passed away on December the 1st at the age of 73. Number 1, Jeremy Bullock. And finally, the man who donned the costume of bounty hunter Boba Fett in the original Star Wars trilogy, Jeremy Bullock has died at the age of 75 after battling Parkinson's disease for a number of years. Much like David Prowse, Bullock was praised for the physical performance he brought to an otherwise understated role, with Star Wars actors across the board paying loving tributes to him following the news.